In this video, we're going to have a look at how to make a transparent watermark in Canva. Let's jump on in. First of all, we're going to have a look at how to make a watermark that looks something like this here. So a watermark that kind of has a logo look, which is something that is really popular and that you see very often. After that, we're also going to have a look at how to make a simple text watermark like this one here. So without further ado, let's get this done. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a circle to our design. We can do that by simply left clicking on our page first. And then we press C on our keyboard to add a circle. So now let me just make this circle a little bit bigger. So I will just left click on it and then I will use these circular handles here to make it bigger. Now as we want to use it as a watermark we don't want to have a fill color. So we're going to remove the fill. To remove the fill in the menu on top here click on the color square. And then under document colors right here click on no color. It now looks like everything disappeared, but don't worry, we will have it back in a second. The next thing you gotta do is to click here on border style. And we're now going to increase the border weight, which will bring our circle back, but without fill. So on the border weight here, I simply move the slider to the right. And just like that, we brought our circle back. It's a little bit too thick for my liking, so I will actually increase the border weight a little bit. Maybe something like that. Next, we will need some text. To add some text to our canvas now, all we need to do is to press T on the keyboard. Bam! And just like that, we added some text. Next, we're going to make this text a little bit bigger. Just like that. And now we're going to change the text into the text that we would like to have for our watermark. So I just double click on the text and let us change it, for example, to my watermark text. I will just reposition it a little bit. Well, this already looks better, but we would obviously like to have our text here within our circle. So how can we do that? It's actually not that difficult. All you need to do is to left click on your text and then on top click on effects. Then on the left side at the bottom, click on curve. That already looks a lot better, right? However, our text seems to be a little bit too big, right? So we're going to make that a little bit smaller like this. Maybe something like that. Let us reposition our text now. And this is still a little bit big, so let us make it a little bit smaller still. Maybe something like that. I will reposition it again. And this already looks pretty good. Now, however, we can still fine tune the curve. And you can do that here in the lower left corner of the screen on the curve. So let us play with the slider here for a second. And... Let's find the perfect angle. I think this is actually perfect as far as the curve goes. However, I would like to have the text here running around the whole circle and not just here in the upper half. The way we can achieve that is to click on spacing here on top and we can then increase the letter spacing to achieve this effect. Let's have a try. So I increase the letter spacing and just like that our text beautifully expands along the circle. Lovely. Now, last but not least, I would also like to add a graphic here to the middle of our watermark. So to do that in the left sidebar, I will click on elements and I'm going to add a lovely cow graphic. To add it, simply click on the graphic. I'm going to reposition it a little bit as well. Probably something like that. Instead of a cow, you can obviously add whatever you want here. In the upper left corner of the screen, simply input a keyword or topic to find whatever element or graphic you need. For example, I could search for animal here. And I would find tons of graphics here to choose from. Now, while this already kind of looks like a watermark, something is still a little bit off, right? Yes, absolutely. And that is the transparency. A watermark usually has a very low transparency. Because if you would just put this on top of some artwork, this would be far too disturbing. We need to have something much more subtle. So with that said, we're going to left click, hold and drag over our watermark right here. And then on top here, we click on the transparency square. And we're now going to reduce the transparency. Let's set it to something like maybe 10. And that looks so much better. This little change makes all the difference in the world. On page two, I have prepared for you guys this lovely Highland Cow Baby, which is actually from a clip art set that I'm currently selling on Etsy. Just on a side note, of course. So now let's try out our watermark on this Highland Cow Baby. Before I do that, I will once again left click, hold and drag over the whole watermark right here. And then I right click on it and click on group. Like this, whenever we click on our watermark, everything will move together. That's indeed very useful. Now I'm simply going to take our watermark and move it here over our baby Highland Cow. 
And that's already pretty good. I will just make some minor adjustments still. I make it a little bit bigger, maybe something like that. And also make sure that it's completely in the middle right here. Perfect, this actually looks really cool. And this will help to protect our digital artwork because it makes it much more difficult for thieves to steal our artwork. Please guys, always put your watermark directly over your artwork just like here. Because if you just put it in the corner, something like this for example, it's absolutely useless because it's gonna be super easy to remove. If you put this in Photoshop like this, it will take an experienced person maybe three seconds to completely remove the watermark as it was never there in the first place. So please don't do that. Now I promised you guys that we're also going to have a quick look at how to make a text watermark in Canva. This is going to look like this here. So to do something like that, it's actually extremely simple. All you need to do is to press T on your keyboard to add some text. Then just type the desired watermark text. Let's make it a little bit bigger here as well. Maybe something like that. And I would also like to have this on two or even three lines. So I will just double click right here and then press enter on the keyboard to put that on a separate line. Actually, I kind of like it on two lines only. So I will just leave it like this for the moment. But I would like to make it a little bit bigger still. So once again, I will left click on it to select it. And I use these circular handles here to make it bigger. And I will also put it in the middle like this. Now here as well, what is missing guys? Yes, exactly, we have to adjust the transparency. So to do that, I left click on it. And then on top here, I click on the transparency square. And finally, we just reduce the transparency level here. Here again, we will probably go with 10. And now let us take our text here and put it over our Highland baby cow. If you would still like to have your watermark text here on this independent page as well, you could easily make a duplicate of your text. Let me show you a super fast way to do that. While your text is selected, press and hold the Option key on your keyboard if you're on a Mac or the Alt key if you're on a PC and then simply drag. This will immediately create a copy for you. Pretty awesome, right? You can repeat this step as many times as you want. Awesome, right? But yeah, one copy is going to be enough for us. So don't let us get carried away. So we're now going to use this copy here and we will simply put that over our Highland cow like this. And that's it pretty much. I actually like the way it looks like this. You could obviously go and make this bigger or smaller or maybe you could even rotate this a little bit as I have showed you in the example earlier on. But for my liking, this actually looks great. With that said, once you're happy with how everything looks like, all that is left for you to do is to click on share in the upper right corner of the screen and then click on download below. Then select the page or pages that you would like to export and finally click on download. If you would just like to export the watermark with a transparent background, then in that case you would also have to go to share in the upper right corner of the screen, then click on download below, then make sure that the transparent background option here is ticked. Under select pages, make sure that the right page is selected. In our case here, this would be page two. So I will click here first to deselect all the pages and then just tick page two right here. Then we click on done. And finally, we're going to click here on download. And this would be the result right here. It kind of looks like there is a gray background, but rest assured that the background is going to be completely transparent as long as you have checked the option transparent background when downloading. And that's it guys, this is how you make a transparent watermark in Canva. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Canva tutorials.